Hi friends, it's Gina Mayo from Music in Our Home School today. I am happy to be talking to you about another homeschool tip for including music in your homeschool. And this one is to combine music with other subjects that you are already teaching. So say you're teaching history, like world history, then I would encourage you to look at the corresponding course that I have at learn.musicinourhomeschool.com that would relate to the music, to the world history that you're studying. If it's in between the years of 450 to 1800, look at the Middle Ages through the classical era course that I have. And if you are doing the 1800s, I have a romantic era music course. And if you're studying modern times, you'll want to look at the 20th century music history course that I have, because you want to, alongside your history, learn about the music that was being produced during that time. If you are studying geography, let's say world geography, then you'll want to look at my world music for elementary course. And believe me, it's not just for elementary students. I call it that because it's simplified. The lessons are short. There's not a whole lot of meat there, but it is so much fun. And you're getting to learn about the music from other places around the world. You hear the instruments and you see the people playing them that are in those countries. You see their traditional dress and folk songs and folk dancing. So that one is called World Music for Elementary. But if you're studying American history, I also have an American history, uh, American music for elementary course to look at that will help you learn about the um, American styles of music that are unique to our country and the composers and the performers of this music. If you are studying um, geography for a state study. I also have a course called State Songs of the 50 U.S. States. It's actually a combination course that you can use just as your state study course because it includes everything like the, um, the capital city and the state bird and um, all the stuff that you want to learn when you are studying states but it also includes the state song and some really other fun songs that relate to that state. For example, the state song of Texas is Texas Our Texas, so you'll hear that song, but you'll also hear other songs famous for the state like Deep in the Heart of Texas. And then if you are studying Shakespeare, I have a course called 10 Weeks of Shakespeare, an introductory course. And this one is great if you have never taught Shakespeare in your homeschool before because it guides you exactly how to do it. And it's not that hard. Trust me, you can teach Shakespeare. And there's a lesson there that is the music that has been inspired by Shakespeare. Because Shakespeare wrote 500 years ago, and in the last 500 years, there have been lots of composers who have written music for operas and ballets and movies and plays, uh, just songs, choral songs, and I have uh, compiled the best ones there, and you can listen to the music inspired by the play as you're reading it, or just listen to the music in general as you're reading his works. So I hope that helps you with another really great tip for how to include music in your homeschool by combining it with other subjects. And I will be back next time. Bye-bye.